Are you okay? I know. I'm That's, really excited right Oh, now. my gosh. I'm Jen Dalton. I'm Bob Herzog. And the wallaby is native to the Australian outback, but you don't have to go all the way down under to find them. Yeah, Bob Ahab and Denise Thomas are from the Horse Feathers Farm, where you can get up close and personal with baby wallabies and other interesting animals, and oh. they, it's in, you guys are in Clinton County, right? So you've yes. taken a lot of time to come down here and be with us live this morning. And first of all, welcome, and could you tell us who you brought with you today? Well. These wallabies will be going to zoos. This one leaves for a zoo in Idaho oh, on okay. uh, the 9th. So he has been conditioned, and that's my job. I raise wallabies for zoos all over North America. No kidding. Yes. And it, does he have a name? I forget. Yeah, 76. Oh, 76. <laughs> that's right. As, as people on farms know, you never name them, right? When you're sending them away. Not that anything bad's going to happen. They're going to be taking care of them. But you don't want to get too attached, right? Exactly. Okay. If I name them, I can't get you them. Can't you can't get them. I would imagine yes. it would be very, very difficult. And, and what about this this little fellow over it, here? Is it an albino? She is. She's an albino. And that's number 77. 77. Is it rare to, to have an albino wallaby? Yep. One in 10,000 in the wild. Oh, no. they don't survive because they got this white sign that says, eat me. Eat me yeah. Oh, the so, boy, they sure do. They in in the outback, in. they would stick out, wouldn't yes, they? Yes, they, yeah. do, they do not live to reproduce. But I control the gene pool at the farm, yeah. so I can decide how many white ones we're going to have oh and how gosh. many brown ones. Oh, my uh, gosh. It's so interesting. Tell us how you got started in this whole thing. How did, how did you come into, you know, taking care of wallabies? <laughs> About... 40, 42 years ago, I rescued my first wallaby and uh, basically raised it. At, at, uh, we had a pound and a half. It shouldn't have survived. I was green at it. I had a little pamphlet book called Practical Guide to Raising Wallabies. And a lady named Kitty wrote the book and she had her address in the back. So I, <laughs> when I got this baby and two weeks in giving it eight bottles a day, I can't get it to gain weight, I called her. Thank no. God for directory assistance Kidding. back then. Yeah. And so she put me in contact with a guy at the Omaha, Omaha Zoo, a young veterinarian, and she gave me his phone number and told me his name was Jack. And so I called Jack, he answered the phone, and he helped me helped to wow. get this, my first Matilda to survive and thrive. And he coached me through the first six months that I had her, and uh, that was Jack Hanna. <gasps> Jack Hanna! Jack Hanna. Yes. No kidding. My first... Um, Bob, you just get cooler right. and cooler every <laughs> single second you sit here. My first television appearance was with Jack Hanna, just randomly as a kid at the Columbus <laughs> Zoo. I mean, they were shooting something, and they were like, hey, kid, you want to do... I was, you know, and so I've always admired him. I watched his show. I was just at the Columbus Zoo uh, over this yep. past weekend, so how cool that you <laughs> called yeah. Jack and Hanna, and he helped you through that. You know, yeah. Denise, I'm looking at you just kind of holding and kind of yeah, caressing just, and cuddling. Does it ever kind of hit you like... I'm holding the wallaby. Right. Like not everybody gets to do that on a yeah, daily I got basis. Yeah, pretty good gig. But you do, yeah. To, tell and me you what your experience I has volunteer. been like. I've yeah. been doing helping Bob. He placed an ad. He needed somebody strong that could hold an animal. <laughs> and um, and I'm a farm girl, so I said sure. I came over and I started, and he helped him. And then then he goes, can you come back tomorrow? <laughs> and I've been coming ever since. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Now, one of the things you guys do is you take these maybe not these two, but some of the wallabies around. Do you do birthday parties and that type of thing? So people I, can hold them? Can I, could I hold one? Sure. sure. Why don't you take sure? the albino, because okay. okay. you're in black. Jack, would you? I'll, I'll Bob, take Jack. I'll, Bob, I'll take. you take the We were just talking black. about Jack, Hannah, and I, 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 I would love to ever have as much Hi. success and things as that she gentleman hair. has. But, she um, likes hair? She oh. Likes oh my gosh. So when you do birthday parties, people are just kind of allowed, it's okay to hold them or do you? We, what we do, uh, oh we have three different parts, parts to our wallaby encounters. <laughs> I don't go out to birthday parties. Oh, okay. But people can have birthday parties. I've had two this last four days. At your farm. farm. Mm, right. They come to, to you so for that. So basically we sit around oh, the big deck up? and everybody, I start holding them and, and Denise, and then she plays Vanna White, and she walks around behind everybody <laughs> and puts the joeys down in their lap, okay. and they all get the whole. So she's really, you're really in control of it. So you're making sure yeah. that nothing bad happens. Exactly. Right. exactly. She yeah. has control of the back of the pouch. I start I'm rocking, rocking like, like a baby. baby. So am I. Oh my gosh, I'm doing the same. Hi. I know. Are we loud? I'm so That's sorry. We're very loud. Side, Bob. Seventy-six. We're very loud. Seventy-seven. We're gonna sing to you like your little you're babies too. So sweet. So oh my gosh. 
we do the wallaby encounter they all get to hold and yeah. then we go over to the uh, husbandry barn and i'll bring one or two of the girls adults in yeah and everybody sits around and the, the adults have got this down to a science they basically go from person to person to person they around know. the room mm -hmm. to get a little piece of oat nut bread that's their treat and they take the oat nut bread and they hold it with a little pause and and they eat it and they expect you to scratch your backs while they're eating the bread. <laughs> oh, well, sure. So know, yeah. Well, sure. Let's talk about some of the other animals that you have on the farm as well. Uh, we primarily do the wallabies. Okay. But I have uh, a tortoise named Cantankerous. <laughs> Cantankerous. <laughs> perfect. That's perfect, yeah. Bob. AKA Tank. And so <laughs> Tank is a cicada. And at 77 years old, I'm now too old to pick up this 75 or 80 pound tortoise that's a that's a good sized tortoise well he's just a kid he's 10. and you have a bearded dragon too right i have a bearded dragon uh and that's uh toothless velcro <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> a dragon and you i was noticing on your website too you do weddings because oh, well, you have a beautiful property up there so people yeah. can come up and yeah you know the, the people want to see the place they could go to horsefeathersohio.com okay that's my web page yeah, or you can follow us on Facebook at just Horse Feathers yeah. Farm, but you got to put in Clarksville, Ohio, because there's like 100 Horse Feathers oh, Farm. Oh, look, we're showing it right now. Oh, okay. Because our producer is that good. So all kinds of different things that you can do there. Yeah, oh, but, so it's all about reconnecting kids, particularly to the natural world. Yeah. And, and my tool are these joeys. Well, so, so and well, you I'm, can you can see how grown-ups re re grown react. Grown-ups, I know. To look them. at us. What oh, what is that response oh, from kids? Is it is it just oh, over? Is it just over oh, the moon? It, it, it is. There are kids that, of course, uh, that are <laughs> addicted to the video games. Yeah. and they're kind of taken back by these. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, and shows probably the importance of taking care of animals and how well, not not everybody should have a wallaby. Nobody, if you're if you're not a professional right. at this, they do not make good pets. Yeah. These guys are ruminants. They chew a cud like a goat. Okay. Oh, really? They need the browse. They need outside. Um, and once they're imprinted on you, they're just underfoot, mm. and that's why the zoos like them. Yeah. In the wild, a wallaby is is more high strung than our white-tailed deer. Oh, at a zoo, the number one cause of death is a broken neck. Oh, that's right. You said that. Yes, yeah, so you need to be very gentle. So, by imprinting them on first on the human heartbeat, yeah. uh, and secondly, just for, as a caretaker, uh, when they get scared at, and they're at the zoo, <laughs> they run to their caretaker instead of throwing themselves into a fence. So that's why the zoos get them from me. Uh, five days after I take them off their mom, at about <laughs> two and a half pounds. <laughs> Oh, the, way, the way they'll just kind of fold oh. up there oh, like they're like in the a pouch, pretzel. Just right up in there. Yeah. Oh, how so sweet. for the first five days, <laughs> I never take them off. I got, I've got my wallaby suspenders with snaps <laughs> oh my here, gosh. here. So they're snaps, so their little head is right here. <laughs> yeah. And sometime on the third day of the five, they just switch. Their imprint goes from that of a wallaby to the human heart. Hi. Oh. So, now see, Bob, yeah. now I'm just picturing mm, you with this backpack mm -hmm. on with a wallaby running around like uh, Luke Skywalker with Yoda on your back or something <laughs> like or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Is, oh. it, is it hard for you to send them to the zoos when you are? Well, I probably in the last 40 years have raised 200 joeys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Sometimes it's a relief. You know, there, it's, it's time. Yeah. yeah. It's, time. It's, time. it's time. So that's what I do. It yeah. makes me a world traveler. Yeah. You know, I've been to the Galapagos and South Africa photo safariing and yeah followed the fall color up the Canadian and Eastern wow. provinces a few years ago. And that's so that's amazing. just me. I love to travel the world. My next trip is going to be to Alaska next summer, and I'm going just for the halibut. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just <laughs> for the well halibut. Done. I love Very it. Very well played. <laughs> Denise, for you as, as, as a volunteer, um, is your is your reaction to, to two things? One, seeing them go off to the zoo any different than Bob's, and what do you feel about seeing kids who, as Bob pointed out, so we're so accustomed to seeing them in the screens instead sort of in a pouch. Um, I'm always sad to see him go because yeah. I love them all. I'm yeah. trying to get him to talk him into keeping that one. Yeah, keep the one. Keep 77 I around. Her. I, I want to name her o Opal. Oh, um, uh -oh. And so, Bob, she named her. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm trying really she's hard. She's very sweet. I she's mean, she's so, so personable. Sweet. Yeah. And it's amazing, like, when we do the, the Joey encounters and I'm working with these kids, they are 
you know, running and jumping and playing. And then once they get in those well, chairs, thank you for the next. they are quiet, oh. they're engaged, they are just thank like you. in awe that they get to hold these babies. I'm, I'm in awe. <laughs> but, but, but 76 is just like, I'm in the pouch, 76, man. 77, Rub, rub me up, I'm taking that's a nap. It. I do the same thing in a couple hours. I'm calling her Opal, that's it. She's staying. Uh, I'm making the decision. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I could sit and do this all day, but unfortunately we have to wrap up here. But yeah. if people, again, want to find out more information, um, the they go go to my uh, web page or go to my Facebook page. You can send me a note. Okay. Uh, to book an encounter, you have to call the farm. Okay. Sure. Uh, but it's people, Horse Feathers Ohio. That's my web page. Make okay. sure. Okay. Horse, horse Feathers Ohio dot com or Horse County. Feathers Farm on Facebook, and uh, I can be contacted either way. Yeah. Okay. But for an actual booking, you have to phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll get the website up at local twelve dot com as well. Thank you guys so much. I know Bob, it was a Denise. long time to come down, and when we appreciate it, and thank you for letting us hold these babies. Seventy six. And for taking such good care of them. Seventy seven slash opal. Opal. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> thank you. Hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.